earlier today we talked to Carol Goss, the head of the Skillman Foundation. We were talking about how um, there's a role for private business to um, connect into the um, um, education system to talk mm -hmm. about the needs, the supply, the demand, what the skill sets are. Um, what do you think the role is in terms of private sector for being able to communicate <coughs> the needs of the future workforce? And are, is your sense that our educational system is nimble enough to be able to respond to what you need in your future workforce? Yeah, um, I mean, m my job as a business owner is to, is to define what it is that I'm looking for, right? Whether that's in terms of the resources that I'm using to um, build out our technology infrastructure or the, the resources that I need to build out our knowledge infrastructure. Um, and so when we go out on campus to recruit or when we're out in the marketplace trying to find people to work for us, we have to do a really good job of writing job descriptions. Um, those job descriptions serve as a measurement tool or serve as a barometer for what the demand is like in the marketplace for people. Um, so our first sort of goal or first sort of objective as a business or as a private business owner is to send a signal to the marketplace that this is what we're looking for, right? And the signal that we're set, sending it, technology, knowledge-based workers. Now, the question about whether or not our education system is nimble enough to support that kind of, a, of a, an objective that I have for my company, it's a great question because this state has not been centered on producing those kinds of workers, right? This is a state that has been centered around the manufacturing of automobiles and in an environment where you didn't have to get a college degree to live a pretty darn good life with a relatively high quality of life with lots of great things that were available to you. The times have changed, right? So the question as to whether or not our education system is nimble enough to change with it is a valid question. And I absolutely think that it is. I'm not sure that we've pointed the ship in the right direction yet um, because it will take a long time to turn that ship. And it requires cooperation from the teachers, from the principals, from the students, from the parents, um, from the administrators to make that happen. And um, we can, as business owners, can only set the signal that this is what we're looking for. And uh, the educators and the administrators have to respond to that signal and reconfigure their curriculum to support those needs. Do you, do you think it's really just a signal or do you think it's also about communicating with voters and getting people to be a little bit more proactive in terms of how we vote on policy, such as things like educational, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, education preparedness. Educational preparedness, but the um, the recent um, preparedness. the budget cuts, the per, peop yeah. per people budget cuts. But then also same thing as you related to me with um, regard to um, the taxation issue. I mean, are we doing enough to have people understand the voter? Yeah. Um, how some of these things are impediments to our state's success? Yeah. I mean, is there a disconnect between the voter and the policymaker? Well, I think there's a, a disconnect in general between private business and the policymakers and the voters, right? I think the policymakers um, are trying to satisfy all people, right? I still think that there's this horrible perception in this region amongst parents and voters that a college education with a technical or with a science-based element to it is not relevant in today's marketplace, right? And I, and I genuinely believe this. I genuinely believe that there are a lot of parents in this state that don't necessarily think their child needs to get a college education to achieve success. Um, so I think there's a disconnect there. I think from a business perspective, We've got lots of things that we're fighting day in and day out, given you know just keeping the lights on and delivering work product for our clients. That it's hard to think about that kindergartner getting the right education so that when he or she 
graduates from high school, they're ready to go to college, they're ready to take uh, you know, high level math classes and science classes, and they're ready to read and critically think about what it is that they're learning so that when they're done with college, they're ready to enter the workforce and, and be able to contribute to it. Um, so, so I think it always starts with the voter, the parents, and educating those folks to talk to the policy makers is important. Now, the folks who are paying the taxes and employing people have a very powerful voice in Lansing too, and certainly there's an obligation on our part to, to help out in that conversation. But I really do think, think that it starts with the parents and driving that objective forward to produce a better educated workforce.